Okay, so we are going to prove the conservation of mass. Are we excited? Yes. 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 Okay, hydrochloric acid, that's always a wonderful thing. This is good stuff, too. This is pretty concentrated. And a piece of zinc. So if we put these two things together, what's going to happen? Zinc is going to... It's not going to dissolve. It's going to react. It's going to react. Yeah, it's going to react. And what's going to happen when zinc reacts with hydrochloric acid? Yeah, we should see a bunch of bubbles. So we're going to take our flask and we're going to take our zinc. Why did I put it in a balloon? So you can see it air out. So it yeah, we got to catch the gas, right? Because does gas have mass? Yes. Yeah. Right, so if we let all the gas ex escape, are we going to have the same mass in the end as in the beginning? No. 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 So we're going to take our mass. Oh, maybe. <laughs> One oh, oh, that's pretty close. 105.01. 105.01. Oh, and then I just threw it on the floor. <gasps> yeah, it's right there. Oh, no, it's right here. Oh, we should put it in We're going to have to do it one more time just to make sure a piece didn't break off or anything. Because you never know. Oh, same thing. 105.01. Okay. We're going to make sure we can see what's going on. Okay. So we are going to put our balloon on, hopefully without spilling everything. And we said we're doing this to catch the gas. Drop the zinc in. Now I have to kind of hold it here, hopefully, maybe. Two. Okay. So what's going on here? What can we see? So how do we know that this is a chemical reaction? You can see the heat it's bubbling. It's giving off a gas, it's bubbling, which is the same thing, giving off a gas and bubbling. So that's one thing. What else? It's creating heat. Or I don't know if it is, but it's Breaking. creating heat. It would, okay, so heat, what'd you say? Yeah, can you see that? Mm -hmm. You won't be able to put it back together. See all the little pieces that are... Floating around in there. Can you guys see all the little black pieces? That wasn't there before. Okay, so we got something that's new that wasn't there before. We have bubbles. I would say yes. Not like burning hot, but I feel like there's some warmth there. Okay. So we'll say there's heat there. What else? What else? What else can tell us there's a chemical reaction? Right, something new. So we got something new because those little black particles are there and they weren't there before. What else? Maybe not necessarily in this reaction, but in another one. Smell. Maybe yeah, it might smell. An odor, odor is created. And then when I take the balloon off, we might be able to smell a little bit. What else? Changing colors sometimes. Yeah, definitely changing color. Not always. But a lot of times, so the black color here that wasn't there before, we could consider that a change in color. We got quite a few. We got four or five, right? Bubbles, heat, smell, smell, new, and color change. So that's pretty good. And I think we're getting closer. It's still bubbling like crazy down there, that one little piece. That's why zinc's so fun to react because it bubbles, but it bubbles forever. So I just, I just got back from St. Mary's. I went over in the second graders. I got to do a um, science experiment. You guys remember the separation of mixture lab we did at the beginning of the year? I did that with them. Obviously much different than saying just they were hilarious. <laughs> we got down to the sand and the salt, and I'm like, okay, what are we going to do to make these come apart? We're going to evaporate the salt. <laughs> and I said, well, we can evaporate the water from the salt. <laughs> you know, and then I had to show them on a hot plate that it actually the salt actually comes back. Whoa. <laughs> so it was funny. It was funny. Okay. Our second mass, 104.79. So about three tenths of a gram different. Not too bad. Not too bad. Why is it different? Why isn't it exactly the same? Oh, there's that one thing, the energy that. Should be exactly the same because mass can't be created or destroyed. Okay. So when we when we separate, okay. Yeah. When in our nuclear unit, sometimes when we separate particles, but we're, it's not a nuclear reaction, so we can't oh. use that one on this one. But good, That's good job remembering that. What could have happened here? The air might have slipped out. Right. Is this a perf? Is this going to be a perfect seal? No. 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 Okay, and 
enough with the hair. You came in 45 minutes late. You don't have to distract everybody from what we're doing. Okay. So, air could have definitely escaped. Gas could have escaped from here. This is a high school lab. Is this perfect? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> are you guys going to always get exactly the same mass before and after? Yeah. Absolutely not. But are we going to get close? Yes. Yes. So remember, when we talk about conservation of mass, we're talking about getting very close. Okay? <laughs> so we're never going to be perfect, but if we are within a gram, we are very, very close, especially if we're collecting gas. So we're going to consider this a conservation of mass. I forgot this was still video. 